I don't have a pen. Can you get one? I think, no. The kids took it and I'm locked in. I cannot move anymore. You can't bend over? I can't, I can't even reach <laughs> that thing in front of us. Hey everybody, it's Bo and Kelly, bettertogetherlife.com. I haven't plugged that in a long time. I just thought it would be good to do it. Everybody needs a website, so that's good. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the last time we talked about how much does it cost to start a homestead, I left y'all with a little bit of a cliffhanger. Teaser. <laughs> yes. Um, Kelly and I went over all the numbers and it was, it, we were a little bit we surprised. We decided to stay married. <laughs> yeah. Um, and tonight this is going to be what we go over now. So it's a little bit different. This is just going to be talking to you guys. Uh, not going to really be any editing at all. We're just going to go flat mm -hmm. numbers. How much for this first draft, <laughs> everything's a first draft, is it going to cost for us to start our home set? This does not include the house. When we do a first draft for any kind of budget, it's <clears> like, <throat> oh, we have infinite money. So if any of you have very, very strong feelings, as most people on YouTube do, about how much we are considering spending um, before you get your hatchets out, why don't you just chill and know that this is just a first draft and we will make many revisions after this. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so let's start. I don't know if I have this in any particular... I think I have it in some sort of Almost order. like priority or like... We knew we needed to do that first yeah. before we got to the bottom of the list. Yeah, as we got to the bottom, I was like, what else do we need? What else? So those things, of course, are less important. Um, the, the, num the biggest priority is for us to get water mm -hmm. on the property. You have to have water or you won't survive. That well, a couple of the things, even before we have the house, the reason we like water is to irrigate our earthworks that we're going to be working on. Totally. So creating irrigation for the swales is really important mm -hmm. to be able to set up our garden all of these things need irrigation <clears throat> yep so we our property has a water line already mm -hmm. there it just needs a meter unfortunately because it is raw land and nobody has ever lived or ever put a meter on this before we have to bite that bullet we yeah. have to take that hit um we've learned a lot in terms of buying a property um i i would never want to second guess this property because seriously the more often we're out there the more we love it mm -hmm. it doesn't really go down in terms of what we love about it but there are some things to know that when you are the first person mm -hmm. to do all these things you're spending a lot. You absorb the cost. Yeah, and, and, and typically you're you're not gonna get 100% value mm -hmm. back off of anything. And we'll go, we'll hopefully try to remember to talk about that at the end of, that's the reason why we're doing the house that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so water meter. So I have to do a couple of like paperwork things and it's called a hydraulic study, I don't know. Um, basically, it's, I think it's just a whole bunch of ways that they can make money. And that's okay. It's going to cost $3,825 for everything. Yes. Uh, everybody's going to talk about, why don't you get a well? Uh, $3,825 <laughs> versus $22,000 in order for us to get a well. And even if we drill 900 feet. Mm -hmm. For possible water. <clears throat> yeah. We're not even sure that it's potable water. At that and and I think the tricky thing about digging a well is even when you work with a company who's highly experienced they'll tell you and contract you to say that we can drill here but really the water could be five feet over mm -hmm. and you have to pay for that second yeah. drill it, it's not ri worth the risk for us and quite frankly I don't think it would increase the property value enough to justify the cost yeah. so as painful as that can sound 38 hundred bones is like it's so much better than the alternative but for those of you who are following this journey and you're like hey we like watching you because we want to do the same things you're doing or we have plans to homestead um, if you don't have your property this is something to consider 
we love where we are, we love everything about it and have great plans mm -hmm. for it. When we do purchase more property, because that's something I want for our retirement plan oh. is more properties, um, we will choose the ones that have a little bit more developed on it. Yeah. And it definitely make sure that a well is not 900 feet down. But also to say, we couldn't have gotten on our property um, for the same price that we got it. I think if some of these... Oh, um, totally. Oh, yeah. It yeah, been, these amenities well, were already there. The, the, so, so we're biting the bullet, but also we are, we are funding that bullet mm -hmm. for the next person. Uh, our, our property value has already gone up. Yeah. Um, because we bought it where there is some sort of new development. I mean, legit, there's two houses on our county yeah. road. Brand new, nice, like legit houses. Yeah, not sheds, like <laughs> yeah. real homes. <laughs> is it bad that I just know? But, but I think that's a benefit, you know, we've shared with this looking at the fringes. Yeah. We chose a place that's not far from actual city conveniences, but is still on county property. So yeah. the so, restrictions are great. So not our, having them, yeah. I guess. Yeah, and our realtor said that whatever you put in for this water meter, mm -hmm. that price what, goes that, into the One hundred percent, it goes up. When we're not ready to sell it right now, but no, no, we're no, thinking no. resell always. Well, because we, you have to. We think it's a town of five thousand. We who knows what God has for us, and you know, for the next five plus years. And mm -hmm. is are our kids going to be graduate high school here from homeschool high school? Are they gonna walk across the stage and get their diploma from me? Oh man, <laughs> that's okay. Um, they'll know how to. We'll hire an actor. They'll know how to butcher their own ugly bunnies by then. Oh gosh, Ollie. <laughs> okay. Love them. Uh, so the next one on the line is we have to actually get. So Where we, are we gonna put it. Yeah, it's it, well, it's at the top corner. So if you're looking this way, it's at the top corner over here, and then our house is gonna be in the middle so we have to mm. run as the crow flies i think it's like 360 feet 360 feet but then if we want to make it a little bit cleaner and i think we're probably going to uh because then we can tie off we can we can pipe off of it the main line uh to irrigate a little bit easier is i think that's going to run 420 feet of pipe um mm. of I'm plumbing thinking, like plumbing, water yeah. from from the meter Plum, yeah through the property. Yeah. So I, I'm. If you guys know about this, please, please put this down in the comments because I'm learning and I do not know. Um, Pete and I talked about it the last time we were out there, and he was uh, mentioning. Is it called Plex? Plex. You look at me Plex? like I know. Plex, Plex pipe. Um, I think it's Plex. Anyway, uh, but he said the PVC pipe is okay. He's like, you know, mm. it's just not the best for the earth, but it's fine. And We're thinking pricing, you mean. Yeah, 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 and and it's it definitely is going to be cheaper. It might it might be harder to to actually do the installation. So, I'm definitely going to take that into consideration. Of it takes me twice as long. Yeah. If I have to like ten feet everything, do the little blue glue stuff, and mm -hmm. do a connector, when if I can get like a hundred foot roll and just yeah. trench Good it and point. just lay it down. Then, then I'm going to take uh, that into consideration. This line item is uh, plumbing pipes to run from the main water to the house. Uh, this is the one thing that I did not get an actual quote for. I, mm -hmm. I, I tried to get quotes and I just couldn't get this done. So I did, um, I got asked a couple of people online for forums and I think I got a decent number um, that this is going to be $1,125. Um, that's what, that's what like, you know, PVC pipe uh costs and stuff mm -hmm. like that um and then i would probably have to rent a trencher but i think i have mm -hmm. i have that built into the electric right Thirty eight twenty five for so that's that's four thousand nine hundred and fifty and so we've done two things two things so five grand uh now you know why people get a loan for a house yeah because uh, yeah. you build all this stuff in it okay and you pay it up for 30 years, jeez. Okay, um, electricity meter. So we have to be able to get, mm -hmm. we are not gonna be off grid. It is central Texas, you will die. And I think it's also just not our desire. Like, yeah. it's a great idea, um, but someone on Shed to House group posted this video. I'd actually never watched them before, but Bo had been following Pure Living for Life. <laughs> 
And one of the All things... All y'all, everybody on this channel. Yeah, I just had it. Really, <laughs> Kelly does it. I was probably watching an oil video somewhere. <laughs> but, or more about bunnies. So he was sharing the title of his video, Are You Building a Homestead or Are You Building a Prison? And it was one of those things where when we first thought of homesteading, yeah, all these systems and look at how we can be so eco-friendly. But our lifestyle, we travel. Mm -hmm. um, and where we will be living in Central Texas is central to almost yep. all of my family. So we don't want to be bound by that property. And, and prayerfully, as we get involved in that community, there will be people who are willing to come watch our animals while we're gone. But, I mean, we don't need them to take care of the harvesting system for the water and the um, batteries for yeah. the solar. So there are going to be some things that we point. do over time, um, maybe just as experiments. But I think the reality of it is it's just not my desire. I don't think it's yours, like, deep in your heart to be a homesteader who's off-grid. No, no I, I care more about growing our own food, mm -hmm. uh, teaching our kids how to learn new skills and all that. I am interested in harvesting our own rainwater, but solar, it's just, I, I'm interested in all these things. It's mm -hmm. just not the number one priority. and Or affordable priority for us. Yeah. You know, number one priority for me, I don't know if you and I agree totally on this, but being mortgage debt free, the freedom of that is just powerful. Each step of the way, paying off credit cards, paying yeah. off, uh, like buying a car in cash or paying off school loans, I've, I've come to live that scripture that, that we're not meant to be slave to the lender. And I can't imagine just what, what it will feel like, almost like envisioning a peaceful moment is what it will feel like to live on that property without yeah. any debt. Well, this is the first time that we've talked about this list mm -hmm. and like, yeah. Legit, this is our first time to do it on camera, so we'll... We, we'll you're here with us yes, as we figure this out. And that you're watching uh, our marriage and doing good work with this, because this is a big deal. Uh, okay, so uh, the electric meter, uh, to get tied in, there's a pole right there on our county road, and that, they said, for the meter, that's around $1,200, and then I need to get... Uh, no, that's around thirteen hundred dollars, and I need to get a meter pole. I have to. It's like a specific pole with like cables and wires and stuff. I have to get a meter pole. That is going to be um, another seven hundred dollars. So that's two thousand dollars to be able to get the electricity on the property with the mm -hmm. meter. Um, that does not include running electricity to our house. Uh, figure. Yes, I asked a couple of people, and uh, one of our uh, great friends, our best friends, is um, he is an electrician, mm -hmm. and he came up with a number. I, I hope this is right, and this is just for like renting a trencher. So hopefully, I'll be able to trench the the electric uh, trench mm -hmm. for the electricity Digging on the it. same day yeah. as we do. The same lay rental the, as we do the plumbing. Lay the plumbing. Yeah. So I can do that. So this is including conduit, conduit, and and the wire, everything. Um, I don't know if this is actually it includes a breaker panel. Realize that I didn't actually ask that question. First pass. We have yes, we have pass. unlimited funds right now. Well, so uh, that came. He he came up with a number about. Fifteen hundred dollars. Um, that I think it was a little bit less, but I rounded up because the thought Based we might need to rent the trencher for two days. Mm -hmm. So, and this also does not include actually paying for an electrician. Yeah. So, John Michael, buddy, I'm a. If you ever get a weekend off We're and you want to come, <laughs> all the rabbits you want. Yes, please, John and Gary. <laughs> well, Carrie has agreed to do any kind of work on the property as long as we build her a tiny house on there, too. All right. So that sounds good. We'll just fold it into the cost of their tiny house and there you go. square it away. Sweet. Um, so uh, um, I did speak to the, the electric co-op. It's a 200 amp service um, because that's what I was looking for. I really wanted that. Means so much. Really need. wanted a 200 amp service. Don't know what that means. Um, okay, 
septic system. So septic system is uh, a word, of course, we're not doing composting toilet, just not going to happen. Well, I think maybe this is what's important. Our plans for the property are bigger than just our little tiny house on the property. So the idea of having septic for those other buildings or outhouses that we create, yeah. I think mm -hmm. I think that's why we're considering septic. If it was just us living in a tiny house for two years, I think we've seen some people be really successful with composting toilets, but it's just not. Who have we seen? I follow a lot on Shed to House. I, we love you, Shed the House guys. I'm y'all doing you. awesome. I, are y'all living? Yeah. Yes, with their kids in this, this place with composting toilets. That's killer. But I just Way don't know. Go. Yes, I don't know if that's us. I think we need to build in septic. Let's just play it that yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, like, we need to put it in the budget. Like yes, it is. yes. Uh, so I got one quote. Maybe I can get it lower. Maybe, Maybe. it is much higher. But this is from a legit septic system company in our town he will do it for this mm -hmm. so hopefully this is the most that it'll be yeah. um sixty five hundred dollars is that that is that's a lot of it's a lot of bleh. poo um yes moving on pier and beam foundation oh good for our house night this was a shocker. This was a big one. Um, we don't have to pay this. And we don't have to do this. We don't have to do pure and bean. No. But I really don't know why I feel so strongly that I want it. I know. Maybe I, know. I need to let it go. I don't well, know. So um, I, I really got, I, I, I did a lot of research online and, and I, I'm still waiting on official quotes for this. So again, first pass, this is going to be a playlist on our channel. This is going to be a multiple, multiple part series. Um, so just don't get mad at me that I'm completely wrong because I'm sure that I am. But I did some research online and that it said that pure and beam and, and, founda and concrete foundation like a slab is, is not that much difference in cost. But um, I did get one quote for a slab, and he said it was like uh, four and a half dollars per f square mm -hmm. foot. So that um, comes out to about five grand, and um, that's about what it would be with the math yeah. for a pier and beam. So for an 800 square foot home, about five grand. Uh, I did speak to Tom Long over at. Um, Enterprise Center in Giddings, Texas, and he said, you don't need to. He said that that they put it on um, concrete footers, not concrete uh, center blocks, not really footers that actually go into the ground. Then what they do is they, so he's t telling me that they, they, they cable it down and they shoot some kind of bar cable mm -hmm. down, I think like four to six feet i don't know but like into to the earth to stabilize it to stabilize it and he said i i i thought that he's giving us two two numbers on this i thought that it was the the first time he told us i think it was like 130 miles miles 130 miles an hour Winds. wind like it can withstand that mm -hmm. and then um whenever i spoke to him the last about this about this foundation he said this thing can take uh, 150 and he said we have you know we have engineering you know uh, papers on all this like that it's mm -hmm. this thing is not a mobile home 16 inch on centers it's anchored to the ground that it can it can take 150 mile an hour winds even on center blocks so uh, we're not sure about that I, I agree I, 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 I agree we don't know a lot, so we're figuring it all out. And I think, again, first pass, we figure it all yeah. out as we go along. And mm -hmm. before we make a payment to do one of these things, yeah. we know confidently what's best. Mm -hmm. So um, the next ones are things that probably, I think it, they're hand in hand in terms of priority. Mm -hmm. um, I think we both agree that we want mm -hmm. food and to start growing trees. Yeah. Because uh, that's a really good investment. I want to do lots of videos on 
trees is an excellent mm -hmm. investment. Uh, so uh, a two-day excavator rental is going to cost about 800 bucks. So I got a, a new quote for that. It's a little $200 cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Um, that's delivered. Like they drop it off Thank for goodness. two days. Yeah. yeah. And we get 16 hours of runtime on that. So uh, that could be for the entire weekend. And uh, yeah. So will that be the swales or will that be the garden? Like what? What do you want to accomplish with the excavator? I did not actually say what the what this is for. The two day rental of an excavator is for the swales. Okay. The swales okay. that everybody has been you waiting. You learned and I learned. I've been waiting for it. Y'all have been waiting for it. Have you guys uh, really been waiting for the swales? Are you like kidding? Eric's like, like they've Eric, been this is waiting all that for Eric the swales. Wants. Eric wants the swales. All right, Eric. Eric. Everybody wants the swales. I want the swales. It's just oh. I think ah. swales is like the ultimate adult digging in the dirt satisfaction moment. Like it's when gonna be your kids go for worms, to, you're going to be like, yes. Before we're actually living out there, the road was the number one thing, of course. That was amazing. And it was like once the road happened, everything opened up. Mm -hmm. I know that it's not true with the swales, but... It feels that way. It, it feels does, like progress. It does feel. It feels like because then we could just go and put some blackberry cuttings into the ground, and it will grow. It will grow. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, like really, not. You're not gonna plant you have like to apple plant trees roses out there. for the bunnies. Yes. Yes. Anything you want, baby. Um, okay. So eight hundred bucks for excavator. Uh, this is just rough, just getting some numbers. I could be completely wrong on this. This is just ballpark in it. I didn't get any kind of real numbers off of this. Um, thinking about like $500 for irrigation. Um, we, I don't, we don't have to irrigate it right away, but Pete says that. I think we do need to irrigate it right away. Yeah. I don't want to, it's important to me with any of these projects that we're just going to have to pick out priorities. Mm -hmm. Because if we're going to excavate and do the work, I don't want crumbling, crappy dirt. I want yeah. it to be yeah. nourished and well cared for. And if that means then we delay that project so that yeah. we can sure. fully fund it, it's important to me. Sure. I agree. So but, then, so then uh, compost, I don't know. I put 200 bucks for compost. That's probably terrible. That's probably just... The most wrong number. Um, of all the wrong numbers. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Compost is free at our house, but it's only Well, this but much. we need, like, truckloads. Um, I did not put anything for mulch. We definitely going to need mulch. I'm still trying to find... I hope that I can find some kind of super cheap or free mulch service. There is a suburban area... Yeah. five minutes away from our prop, not maybe 10 minutes away from our property. So uh, there's definitely tree services somewhere in there and well, power it's lines. It's the aged wood though that you want, don't no. you? No, you want You just fresh. want the fresh. It doesn't matter. You just want, you want them to chip it Or for us to be it. able to use our freaking foliage. There's what? so many trees that we've taken down. Oh, well, We've you... have got to chip. Well, in that, we could just rent a wood... But see, no, it's still, we need, like, a serious wood chipper. It's still more expensive to do it all yeah. yourself. Um, I do have a possibility to maybe get a forestry mulcher out there. Um, um, I don't know. We're going to see about that. Yeah. So, don't count your chickens. Uh, okay. Screened-in deck porch. I pray that this is the high number i told him to give me the fastest quote that he could uh because Who? i'm just well i don't want to say it on the video because i don't want to make them look bad oh the but people yes. so oh i see what I, you're saying i thought you were talking about like the supplier or something no. so we talked with a builder who could create a screened in porch for us yes on our deck and he said just he's like if you need it right now just off the top of my head, it's going to cost $8,000. Uh, that is, and that is a screened-in porch that encompasses the full 50 feet. Yeah. That's a big old porch. 
Which, I know that we need it's it. It's not. No, I, I don't think I'm that's sorry, the plan. I'm sorry. I know that we want it. I don't think the plan is that Not whole screened thing. in, but you want the porch, and you don't want it to be, like, sectioned off. I want the deck. Yeah, deck. And the deck is the priority. And, and then, well, yes, but depending on how we have to build it, I don't know if it comes in phases or if we have to do it all at once. Oh, so you're saying you would be down with just the I'd walking deck? I'd be down deck? with a deck and, like, an umbrella. Okay. For a little while. Okay, well, that's, that's, I didn't. So, hopefully We're we can, learning. hopefully we can, because I have been thinking that the... Oh well, no, for what, eight grand, that would be insane. That the week that we are there, there, that we move in, and that the house is there, we're out of this house, that we're there, that it would be done. Right. right? That, that, that yeah, would be done. Yeah, that's true. Um, no, so as, as long, long as the as, deck is done, I would feel fine which, waiting on the rest. Which we, we have to have a deck, because we're not, yeah. the, the shed house is not going to have... You can get it with some kind of deck right there. Uh, and so, like well, we always told. our design also is not um, a shotgun style house with a porch on the front. Yeah. It's really more a wide house. Well, they could put a porch with anywhere. The de but we're, we're intentionally out. not putting Correct. it at the front to lose, yeah. to get that square footage. Correct. Um, I did not put a back deck on this. So, there's going to be... A Steps. for this, yes, there's gonna be some center box back there. Um, uh, we'll eventually have that, but that that one might even if we just not. build it in stairs, it won't sure. cost us a lot of money to build treads. We'd sure. be fine. Um, so so that one is not in this. Um, I put in a wood chipper just just to have just to, in case because when we plan this part, we have billions, yes. Uh, $275 to rent a wood chipper per day, um, and I have to t yeah. drive it We're not doing an that. hour away from the property. It's ridiculous. It's two hours, so I, that's, we, that's the reason why we haven't done it. How our doesn't have that? Like, how it's not... It's a small town. But I mean, still, a wood chipper in the rural areas in Central Texas, I would just think there would be one closer. There is, and, and it's owner-operated. They're like, he's like, I will come and I will chip your stuff. For how For much? 600 bucks. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. And so we're going to buy I a insane. wood chipper and we're going to make money. No. no. Um, I put a down payment for the house. This I could the be I have. so incredibly wrong in this down payment. I think that he briefly mentioned something about the down payment for the house to get the get it started before the build out. Um, so, Mr. Long, I'm so sorry. I could be flat out completely wrong. So, please, do not quote me on this. Blame it, it could, on the pregnancy. It could be... I put in there $2,000 for, for the down payment of the house just to get it started. Um, like the shed ordered and delivered. To the to the to, to Giddings, Texas, mm -hmm. to, for them to start doing some work mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, I, I could be far off on that. I know that. I mean, it might be twenty five percent of of the cost. Mm -hmm. I don't know, um, but I put that on there. Uh, so I talked to Pete, and then this was a very oh, yeah. fast um, number. So all these are, are pretty fast, um, but but that's where I just wanted to start because it was a lot to be able to do, and I wanted to get this to y'all as soon as I could, and. That number to be able to finish the road, so we we're able to have we basically have a driveway right now. But you mm -hmm. get on the road, and then um, that doesn't even take you to the house yet. Right. So we're mm -hmm. you know just gets us access to the yeah, property. Yeah. But we want to be able to get the road all the way down past the house or the mm -hmm. house is over here, and then it's then going to actually you are going there, whatever. Then it's going to come down here, and it's going to have a nice little turnaround. Mm -hmm. uh, to where like people that are bringing mulch and we're, they're bringing it for mm -hmm. a good price are like, hey, at least we can get in and out of your property easy yeah. without having to do the eh, 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 the Austin Powers thing. Turn around. Yes. So the price that he said on that is thirty five hundred bucks to be able to finish. The well, road. and I think he's gonna grade what's already there, and yeah, he's he's just gonna build a proper road. I, I hope so. I don't know. Yes. Yes. So yes. Pete, proper roads, hop in Pete. on the comments and tell us what you think. The next, um, y'all can get. 
He's obviously down to the lower part of the list where he's like, people are going to Pe be mean. People are going to be mean. But this is YouTube. People are mean. It's okay. Yeah. Some people are really, really nice. So I'm going to take this over because Bo's feelings are going to be really invested in this. Okay, so, um, so the gate. I think this is a fun thing. Obviously not necessary right away, but y'all have seen our gate and you know that nobody's getting onto our, we can even put a house on our property until we saw off the current gate because we just did what we could do for the price that we had in our pockets. So um, putting an electric gate would be really convenient. Having just the remote, you know, like well, for those of you who get into your garage that way. The reason why I put an electric remote gate is because Mm -hmm. The last time that we went with the boys yeah. in that camping trick video, I'll put it right up here, and they, it was so muddy, mm -hmm. and you have to drive, yeah. and you have to get out. To, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm whining here, but it just city would be boy. city boy, but then just everything gets mud everywhere, because you have to get in and out of your car. I know that the, We will have different kind of floor mats in our Sure. Car. I'm just Should saying. Be cheaper. That. This is not going to stop us from moving onto the property, but I do feel like... Where's my electric remote? What Where's my slushy machine? It, Fix it. Compared to all this stuff, it's not that much. No, but it's about $800. $8,000 for a porch? Oh, good. And I thought you were saying it for this. No, 800 bucks. Yeah, so 800 bucks for a gate. But, you know, then we've got install and everything all together with it. So was that included in the 800 Me installing it? Oh, there you go. Free labor. <laughs> Time freedom. Hey, there I is. got a video. I just installed a kitchen faucet. Hey, and and we love it. All right, and then um, these are obvious. These have to happen, but they're not urgent right now, especially yeah. before we have livestock. But um, right now we've got barbed wire fence around the edges of our property. So aside from what we would do at the front entrance with the gate, um, which has to be addressed because <laughs> right now there's no perimeter to our space right now, that we need to put in some proper fencing. So whether we decide to utilize the cedars, which I don't love the aesthetics of, but Bo does, and we may need to do that in certain parts of it, but we've got to put in a perimeter fence or at least repair the ones that we have right now. Well, this, I put in perimeter fence repairs is really just the front part, like from the, entry. the gate. Yeah, I put in 200 bucks. I looked on tractor supply for some barbed wire. I think that would just be connecting it and me just doing some kind yeah. of connection. It's gonna cost a lot more to be able to the actually. Whole... Well, well, I think the first step about repairing the fence is to create that front look that you're gonna want, whatever that look is. Well, it's not gonna be barbed wire. No, I'm, sa I'm not saying that. I'm saying the first, this is the first step. Yes. The second step is just for us to be able to move there so that there's at yeah. least some kind Securing of... Securing it. Yeah. Uh, so that people can't walk on mm -hmm. as... These, so, um, and then after that, or or if that is in you, if that, you tell me. That front, repairing mm -hmm. that front fence, is that something, is that a first week project of us living there? I think on this list, it's in its right place. It's the yeah. second to the last. It's not super high priority. And we don't really know how much cash flow we'll have from you know pocketed from the sure. sale of our suburb sure. home before we yeah. move on to this because if we have bukus i'm like let's put in the panels that i love and let's take care of it yeah. otherwise those are just things that we accumulate over time the last one i'm a little skeptical about the price so these are one of bo's top priorities and you may have guessed it already by now but but as we do projects on the on the property this is one that's kind of passive, like we'll plant it and then it'll continue yeah. to um, do its job over time with maintenance. I mean, a little bit of maintenance, but it won't be a lot of like, it's nothing like livestock. It's nothing like um, even repairing the, the fences. This is just, we plant it, it takes care of itself. And if we want to do a stand out in front of our space or go to the farmer's market, it could be ongoing income for us. But the trees, so planting the trees into the swales, Bo thinks it's gonna be 500 bones. No, I just said this is just a first budget to say like, I think it's gonna be so much more than that. It is going to be so much. I'm not saying like the entire swale. 
But those first ones you think will only spend $500? i am just saying that we... I saw the number get quite large. <laughs> so instead of we... the total being an additional 1500 he's like, what if we just make it 500 and Kelly will tell me I could still do this? No, I'm saying that we will... Spend that we will have to budget. Yeah. So if you're talking 20 to 40 to maybe sometimes $50 per plant mm -hmm. per tree, um, that if we spend $500, then that just means that that is a lot of propagation mm -hmm. videos that we're going to make. Uh -huh. We're going to learn how to propagate and use cuttings and nursery and grow our own stuff. Yeah. Um, that if, if we don't have the money to plant... All of these trees. So you're saying the most you'd be willing to spend at this point going over this first draft is 500 Heck yeah. Okay, that makes Sorry sense. Sorry. That's clarifying The H-E-C-K, but yes. Uh, I, we, we cannot, we don't have the budget currently to put in an extra grand for these trees and i'm like what's the difference between an extra grand or five like when we get down to these imaginary numbers i'm like why not put seven thousand dollars in fruit trees on our property well because i don't see the house i don't see your doors oh yeah we might your need custom, a place to live not your custom but your it's not just custom I, i'm saying kelly uh, in our house that's gonna kelly, be a whole nother I, whole nother budget sure but it all comes from one Same bank, bank. <laughs> Same bank account. So the bank account of Brotherton's. Do you want to say the 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 number? Well, you know it was really funny today. Did you have your calculators ready? Do y'all did y'all add it Nobody up? Nobody is sitting here. This is not their budget. They're just like, hey, how long is it gonna take for the Brothertons to reveal their drama? So Everett told me today. He was talking about something. He wanted to tell me something, and he goes, "Drum roll, please." And Ollie and I were like. So, yeah, why don't you reveal the shebang? So, the total number, first pass. Without the house. Without the house. This comes out to $36,725. That's insane. But... Realistic. I mean, these aren't just totally inflated numbers to scare me or you. I do think some of these are going to be high, but some of them might be low and we balance it all out at the end. Well, I don't think it's crazy. But here's the scary thing, babe. Mm -hmm. If we cut $6,000 from this, mm -hmm. It's still $30,000 before a house. I think there's way more things that we can cut. This is, this is progress. There are some things, like if you've ever done a Dave Ramsey budget, you draw a red line, and everything below the red line is not essential. So everything that's above the red line is prioritized, and that's what we have to do here. And you kind of did that. We'll do that in another video. So, so wherever we would draw that line is what we, we would anticipate spending out of pocket in that first stage of preparing the property to have a house on it. Yeah. And this is where when I was There's talking so to There's so much here that we just don't have to have well, but, and this right is, away. And, and what, so going back to what you said in the beginning, and I, we started all this and we're not going back from that. But at the same time, whenever you get to this point, you're like, man, I've put so much mental time and a YouTube channel into moving to this homestead when our number one priority for this was to yeah. be mortgage free. You look at this and you're like, and this is what the electric guy mm -hmm. said. He was like, well, yeah, it's this, you know, but you know, you're, you're going to roll that into your loan. And so that's just yeah. normal. Tune in. To the next part three of how much does it cost to start your homestead where I think we're going to have some more uh, refined numbers, hopefully lower numbers, and then we're going to actually be able to go over um, slashing the 
below the red line. Yeah, what hits the cutting room floor. Yeah. I think we'll also give you some time between now and then. You'll have some more fun things to watch before it's just us sitting here yeah. talking about how much we love to spend that much money. And we'll be holding the baby yeah. at that time probably. Lord okay. willing. If you like this video, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys.